I hope more Cambodians will take a look at the United States. We have almost a thousand Cambodian students each year who study in the United States. I would very much like to see that become 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000. The sky is the, the limit. Welcome to the Education USA Fair. From my perspective, this is a great opportunity for education in Cambodia. We have over 25 American universities here, and this is part of a service that the U.S. Embassy provides through Education USA. Free counseling for Cambodian students who are interested in study in the United States. But first, I think education is really very, very important, and I'm delighted that Cambodian students are interested in post-secondary education anywhere, in Cambodia, in any other country. And naturally, we hope they will take a look at the United States because we have a lot to offer. So our Education USA provides advice and counsel to Cambodian students. How do you figure out what kind of university, what you want to study, and maybe how can you pursue scholarships to help pay for the experience? I hope more Cambodians will take a look at the United States. We have almost a thousand Cambodian students each year who study in the United States. I would very much like to see that become 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000. The sky is the, the limit. And so today's opportunity at this fair, we're delighted to host the fair once again, brings all of these universities here to help students start to navigate. And I want, very much want to appreciate the presence of uh, Under Secretary of Education here in Cambodia. We partner closely with the ministry and schools across the country to help with a whole range of education programs. The numbers of Cambodians going to study in the United States has been going up each year, even through the COVID-19 pandemic period. And that's very exciting. So we're approaching about a thousand students a year. But as I say, I think the potential exists for many more, especially as Cambodians are getting a better education here to prepare for comp competing at universities and colleges. So I want to see that number double, triple, quadruple, and I'm confident that that can happen. Well, I think many Cambodians are going to study a variety of fields. The good, the, here's the good news. Cambodian students come back to Cambodia after they get their degrees in very high numbers. Later today, uh, the chief of our consular section is going to talk here about how do you get a visa to go study in the United States. But our issuance rate is very high because the return rate is very high. But I am seeing Cambodians return with many skills, including technical skills, the digital economy, business skills, the social sciences. They are coming back to join education, to join business, to join government, to join civil society. So the United States offers, of course, degrees in every field that you can imagine. And it's really up to Cambodian students. They can do anything they want in the United States. But hopefully it matches what Cambodia needs to further its sustainable development and economic growth. Okay, uh, could you please introduce about yourself? Yeah, hello, Bong. My name is Desuna Chan Tane. I'm, I'm from Delhi International School at Composite. And I study at grade 11. Uh, so, do you wish to study in the United States and why? Yes, I do. I want to study at the U.S. because I want to improve my English and know about the culture at the U.S. Okay, so what do you think about the educational system in the U.S.? Yes, I know. The education about the U.S. is considered of the superior of the world. That's all, Bong. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Pete Con Kai Watane. I am a freshman from Paragon International University. So why do you come to uh, today's education fair? Uh, I, I want to know about the education system in the United States and I see the descriptions of the announcements that there's a representative from a nearly like 20 college from the United States. So I, and on another hand, I want to study there, a uh, master degree to continue my major right now. So that's why I want to join here. Uh, so why do you want to pursue master uh, degree in the U.S.? Um, first of all, my major in inter is international relations, and so I believe in the international relations program in the United States. Since a since the United States is one of a 
how, how can I say, like, a uh, popular destination for university students. So I strongly believe in the educational system there, and I believe that if I can, can continue my master's degree there, it's really the best ever. <laughs> uh, so similar question to the last... Uh, so sorry, sorry. Um, the, the last question is, um, what do you think about the educational system in the U.S.? Uh, I think... Uh, basically, there's a lot of top-ranked university in the world, and it's also located in the United States. And I believe in the uh, program there, since the United States is the land of opportunity, and there's a lot of nationality that, that want to go to study there. So I believe if I can pursue my master uh, program in there, so I will meet a lot of uh, students from diversity of country around the world, so I can exchange a lot of experiences and um, like step out of my comfort zone uh, or uh, study in a bigger community and also exchange a lot of experience with other students from a uh, different uh, ethnic groups.